In this video, we'll solve for the empirical formula of caffeine. In this case, we're given the elemental makeup in terms of percentages for each element. And then we're also given for each element its atomic mass, which you can find on the periodic table. The empirical formula is essentially a ratio of the elements to one another. So what we need to do is find the number of moles of each element relative to one another within caffeine. So first, let's say we have 100 grams of caffeine. We would have 49.48 grams of carbon. And if we divided that by carbon's mole atomic mass, excuse me, we'll get a value of 4.12. moles. Now we'll want to do this for each other element. So for hydrogen we have 5.19 grams divided by 1.01 grams per mole which would be 5.14 moles and for nitrogen 28.85 divided by 14.01 is equal to 2.06. And then for oxygen, we have 16.48 grams of that, divided by 16 grams per mole, give us 1.03 moles. So we have the number of moles of each element relative to one another. So now we need to find the least common denominator, which in this case is oxygen because it has the lowest number of moles. So what we'll do is divide the number of moles of each element by the number of moles of oxygen. In this case for carbon, it would be 4.12 divided by 1.03 which will give us 4. For hydrogen, 5.14 divided by 1.03 gives us 4.99, which is roughly 5. Remember, if your value is very close to a whole number, you can round up or round down most of the time. And for nitrogen, 2.06 divided by 1.03 it's going to be 2. And for oxygen, we divide it by 1.03 by itself, so that will be 1. So now we can write out our empirical formula, which will be 4 carbons, 5 hydrogens, 2 nitrogens, and just 1 oxygen. 